the risk of sounding corny, M has always been a pretty magical alphabet for me. You see, technically, I'm supposed to be impartial, but I've always been a die-hard BMW M car fan. Now the M3, the one in blue behind me, is the one that made BMW M a household name decades ago. The original M3 was one of the most successful motor racing cars of all time. So what better place than the BIC to find out if the new one retains some of that heritage. Now the M6, the one in front, is a bit of a bruiser, but it's so good looking and it has so much power that it was one of our best cars of 2014. So let's get this trio out there and see if they retain the magic of M. This car might be a monster, but it's not exactly Shrek. You see, it is one of the most beautiful cars on the market. It's just stunning. In this blue, it is absolutely beautiful. And as you may have noticed, with that little slide back there, it's one sweet, sweet chassis as well. Now this of course is the M6 Grand Coupe. So four frameless doors, really sleek roof line. And the beauty of this car really is that it gives you the best of both worlds. This is an absolutely beautiful, effortless high-speed cruiser. And then you get to the BIC and you give it a boot full of gas and it just does the most beautiful drift uh, around every corner on this track. It's not even funny. Helping the course is a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 producing 560 horsepower. So you're not short of power, that's for sure. Like I said earlier, it's such an impressive machine that, and it is so beautiful um, that it was voted one of our top five best cars of 2014. For a car that is this big and this heavy, you certainly don't expect it to be quite this athletic. But that, of course, is the hallmark of the M badge. And this one certainly lives up to the badge. A little bit of understeer as you turn in and then you get a boot full of gas and it'll just give you the biggest most lurid slide that you could possibly imagine i mean there's just any angle that you want and it's there it's just dictated by your right foot zero to 100 in 4.2 seconds um, and we're going to achieve well over 200 kilometers an hour up and down the back straight of course being an m car absolutely everything is adjustable so at the moment I've got the transmission at its maximum speed. I've got the drive line set to Sport Plus. I've got the steering set to Sport. I've got the suspension set to Sport Plus. Um, and judging by uh, the lunacy on the track, I've got the traction control turned off. But like I said before, you turn that off at your own risk in this baby. Based on the 5 Series, it was a lot sleeker, a lot more uh, svelte looking, and it was just a beautiful, beautiful machine. And this one certainly retains the same character and the same spirit of the original M6. Of course, uh, there's a hell of a lot more high-tech wizardry uh, going on around here uh, than there was in the past, but it's still an epic cruiser, and it's an absolute blast on the racetrack. It'll cost you a pretty penny though, 1.8 crore, no penny. The M6 is a bit of a cruiser. This one is hardcore sports car.
difference between the M3 and the M4 is, is really very little. It's effectively um, two bills. Um, the, uh, the shape is a little bit different. The uh, M4 is a little bit sleeker perhaps, but uh, personally I prefer the, uh, the M3 because, uh, one, because of the badge, it's got the original M3 badge, um, but it's got four doors, it's practical, and it drives like an absolute monster. The M3, this generation, has received a little bit of criticism uh, from the motoring press, but I, I can't understand any of that. Frankly, I think it's an absolutely incredible machine. It's such a responsive chassis. It's such a chuckable machine. Um, I've driven the R8 V10 around this track. I've driven uh, Ferraris around this track. I've driven Porsches around this track. And the Porsche 911 is far more capable, no doubt. Uh, the Audi R8 V10 is much more precise and it's much faster. But this thing is just one of the most fun machines that I have driven around the PIC. It is an absolutely incredible machine to drive around this race track. It is built for the track, it is so much fun. And then you can get off the track, turn off all the gizmos, um, put it in drive, 